Welcome to Yanukovych's personal golf course here on his 140 hectare estate. So uh, check it out. Now on the screen you will see as you approach Yanukovych's palace, these are the homes that are his former neighbors. So you can see uh, there's lots of money in Ukraine indeed, but about 95% uh, of the population are working poor and the top cream of the crop, the 5%, are the opulent rich. And so in this video we're going to talk about money, power and corruption and how it is integrally woven into the culture of the Ukrainian people. And most importantly you need to know this because it will help you understand how your Ukrainian lady is thinking and why it's going to take you so long to gain her trust. Hey guys, I'm sitting with uh, the beautiful coach Maria. Hello. And this video is called Money, Power and Corruption. What do you think about money, power and corruption in Ukraine? Uh, it's, all, all, it's all mixed, but um, money is on the top. Because when you have money, you have power. And of course, uh, when you have right connections, it's, uh, it's easy to do everything what you want here in Ukraine. So that's why um, a lot of women want to marry a wealthy and rich man and of course they will be somehow involved in corruption. Mm -hmm. So is it true that corruption um, it's, goes from the very very bottom of society to the very very top? Is that true? Um, Systemic? Well, yes, because it, it has some uh, graduation and it grow, it's growing and it's easier to solve uh, different issues and problems when you have when you know who can solve these problems so of course you just pay and you have no headaches mm -hmm. well, let me ask you um of um you know ukraine's gdp mm -hmm. like all the money that's made in ukraine what percent would you say is made uh touching corruption uh versus good money we'll say earned in a good conscionable mm -hmm. way I would say from 75 till 90, actually. 75 to 90 percent what? Yes. Good or bad? Oh, bad, bad money. So, so 75 to 90 percent of the yes. money earned yes. in the country is made in a bad or corrupt yes. way. Because anyway, if you start to make a good business, like official business, in a positive way, and you are always in frames of law, but uh, one day, uh, one guy can come to you and say, okay, your business is too profitable and I want to open it now. And if he he's not open to talk, so this business just takes uh, with power. Uh, yeah, classic example is Nova Poshta, right? It's, uh, guys, it's like FedEx back home. Um, the mafia came knocking on their door and said, hey, we <laughs> you need to pay us up, yeah. right? And uh, they actually stood up to the bullies this time and they said no. They went to the media. And I understood they won, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they didn't yeah, pay the didn't the pay. ransom. Why, Marie, do you think it's important that the Western men that are looking to come to Ukraine to find a, a woman for love and marriage, why is it important that they understand this uh, question of corruption in Ukraine? Does it influence the Ukrainian woman's mindset? Well, of course it does, because uh, women are so suspicious and so skeptical. And of course, uh, if you say that you are rich and you have a lot of money, she will think in the first um, time that um, you have like dirty money and she will have a lot of questions about your business, about uh, type of your business and uh, because we, we think that if you have money it means that you have something to hide. So you have to be open um, to answer such questions and um, be honest with her. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I mean, it was a shocker to me that Ukrainian people believe that anybody that basically has money made it in some bad way. Yes, it's it's our historical background because in uh, Soviet Union you could earn money if you would be a scientist or artist or politician. So that's why even now a lot of people want to be in government and be kind of attached to polit politics. And... Um, and if if you need, if you wanna reach uh, well be rich and live like a wealthy life, you need to be a player. You need to be foxing. You need to be tricky. And even now these rules they work. So. And you need to lie a lot, yeah. Yes, you need to lie a lot. You need to hide your skeletons in your closet. So. So guys, just be aware. The point is, the reason we're um, talking about this is just be aware uh, that. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, ladies' mindsets very uh, negative, yeah, skeptical. Well, we are critical and skeptical, not negative, but we we need to check before we trust. So I would say that's a good discernment. Check before you trust. Yeah, they're they're very slow in uh, trusting. It takes them a while to gain her well, trust. We have like this uh, a high barrier to to break this trust. But when we start to trust, we trust with full heart. Mm-hmm. So. It's again a great, yeah. a great distinguishment. Yeah, um, it takes some while to earn her trust, but then once she trusts you, it's you, for a long time. It's for life. Yeah, yeah, you've earned that trust. Um, let's talk a little bit more about corruption, so guys get an idea of how how deep this rabbit hole goes. Um, can you can you buy a medical doctorate uh, degree in Ukraine? Well, I don't know about now, but uh, several years ago, you you could easily buy any type of documents, any license, any permissions. You could even, uh, well, even from the last president, you could uh, you could change the documents, uh, the owners of documents, easy. The uh, owners' documents of a flat, you mean, of a condo? Flats, businesses. It just uh, you. And this procedure is going official, but when you have uh, a lot of mafias, when you have uh, a lot of connections, you can just um, officially change the owner's name, and you cannot even prove it in government in uh, in the court. So it's totally like official, clear, and but you know it's not true, and it's not. You you didn't do this, but y- it seems like you signed these papers, you um, sold it or you gave it for rent, and you cannot prove that you didn't do this. So. Yeah, so let me just see if I understand you right. And I've heard these stories. So um, somebody comes to your flat, or it doesn't even come to your flat, but they yes. just uh, fabricated documentation, yes. official documentation, that they bought the flat from you, forged your signature. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, notary or lawyer witness your forged signature and you can't even prove in a court of law that this transaction didn't happen that you didn't sell it even in business that somebody uh, signs that documents that you uh, sold him a part of business and now he has rights to your business and it's even harder and better worse uh, to to solve these issues mm-hmm. guys I've heard the story <laughs> countless of t- countless times living here for years now and uh, it's true this is another reason why I can't recommend to any foreigner sorry to invest your money here it's just as too many ways you can lose your money here uh, and you won't even be the wiser yeah but we have companies uh, which protect money before they come to Ukraine. So anyway, we have a lot of in international investments in this country, but you need to know those uh, steps of security. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. You can, but you, you need to be protected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you're braver than me. I mean, I wouldn't invest my money in this country. <laughs> I can tell you, I've, I've seen too much. Uh, about medical degrees and stuff like this. So I sat with a director of a hospital um, two, three weeks ago, and uh, director of a hospital himself. I'm not going to say names or even a city um, because he's a, um, a surgeon of quite mm-hmm. uh, status. Um, and he told me, yeah, uh, you know, there are still, <laughs> there are doctors practicing medicine that don't actually have a medical de- degree. It was either purchased, f- fraudulently obtained yeah. somehow, and he's uh, slicing and dicing people open. So, uh, it's scary. Is, yeah, it is. And same with dentists, same with uh, chiropractors. Um, so that's one of the reasons, you know, um, this uh, social fabric here in Ukraine, it's heavily dependent upon who you know mm-hmm. as to who you can trust and, and to get a recommended recommendation of a professional, yes. right? And how much money do you have, how much you can pay for it. So that's mm-hmm. important too. Yeah, I have an American friend, for example, lives in Kiev and... Uh, um, his uh, Ukrainian <laughs> was a helper, um, but he gave him a signing authority to his company for one week because supposedly he was told a foreigner can't be a director of more than one company in Ukraine, and he uh, transferred all the money out of the company, quarter of a million dollars in cash you know, from the bank. Um, so I'm just uh, painting a pretty bleak picture here, but I'm just I'm just saying this, guys. Uh, so you understand the mentality of Ukrainian people. That's why they're so cautious about everything. And that's why um, 
you know everything is slow here they're they're slow to fall in love slow to trust you slow to fall in love with you slow to tell you that they love you right well we're not slow we're just too um suspicious and we want to protect ourselves that's why we uh, give so much time to show um your attitude to us that's mm -hmm. that's why it works that slow for you but uh, for us it's kind of normal so that's a wrap on this video guys so uh, good luck in your journey looking for your love in ukraine